Here are 10 money making rules that I've learned over the years that works for an artist. These are the things that I've followed and they've saved me well. So let's start with number one. Make a product or a service that's useful. This is key right here. If you look at economics, if you look at the world, everything around you, it's either a product or a service. Everyone makes money either by selling a product or selling a service. They offer one of these two things, products iPhones, apples, bananas, vegetables, t-shirts, books, those are products, services, entertainment, information, education, cleaning your house, service, designing someone's someone something for someone. What? So yeah, make a product or service with your art. That is keyword right here. Not flamboyant, not super awesome, not innovation, innovation works. It needs to be something that is useful meaning it adds value to someone else's life. That is basically second point, which is adding value. Your product or your service needs to go and add a bit of value to their life. You know, you should, they should buy your product or buy your service and they should be like, hmm, that was kind of nice. Try and add a certain sense of value to the, the end consumer. That is how you make money. Most artists like, hmm, I really want to do the thing that I like and I want other people to pay for it. Now see, that is sort of entitlement because when you want something for someone else, then you got to give something that they like. You can't always expect to sort of, you know, do the thing that you always like you know, or else I'm going to call these people out and say that these people are not supporting artists. Like screw that. You need to be able to sort of serve. That is the key word right here. You need to be able to serve other people. At the same time, doesn't mean that you can't do the thing that you like. There are people like you who like the thing that you do. So therefore they'll come and pay for you or to get the product from you. And point number three, give more than you take. I always try to give more than I take. If someone pays me 10 bucks, I'll try to work for 20 bucks. If someone gives me 20, I try to work for 40. You can, you, can, you might call me a stupid person. I'm, I might be one, I don't know. But the thing is, what happens when you always constantly over deliver or you try to over deliver sometimes, meaning you're not just getting money out of it. You're not just reaping financial rewards out of it. You're also going beyond that and saying, you know what, I'm gonna be of service to other people and do something that's quote unquote for free. That's it, you're giving, you're giving, you're giving, and you're giving, and someday you might get back, but don't give with the expectation of getting something back. So yeah, give more than you take. I'll always try to do that, you know, with these videos, with these YouTube channels, with the courses, with everything that I do, and with the people I work with, I try to give more than I take, and it's a, it's a, it's a good outlook on life is what I feel. Before we move on to the next point, a little about the people who made this video possible. Zyro. Zyro is one of the most affordable website builders on the market with beautiful templates, fast websites, and powerful e-commerce features. I've always stressed on the importance of having a website. Social media in this day and age is constantly changing and an average person actually follows a 700 to 1000 people on any given platform. So whatever attention you're getting is divided between so many people. And that's why I prefer to have a website where your portfolio is there, your work is displayed, and the people who visit it are more focused focused and give you their quality attention. And with Zyro, you can actually create a website within just a few minutes. All you have to do is pick up a plan, pick a template that you like from their gallery of designer made templates, let the AI generate a website for you in a matter of minutes. Or if you're feeling a little adventurous, you can go ahead and start designing a website from scratch with their custom website builder, which has simple drag and drop editing capabilities and automatically adapts your design to the mobile experience. It's not that expensive to create your website, it's just $3 a month. And if you're worried about trying it out, they give you a 30 day money back guarantee so that you can create your own website backed up by their 24 seven live customer support. You can use my promo code cash or click the link down in the description to get 72% off plus three extra months free with all their yearly plans and a custom domain name for a year. So yeah, go ahead and build your websites with Zyro and thanks again for sponsoring this video guys. Now on to the next point. Number four would be don't make something that people don't want. Now, here's the thing again, you like certain things. It's totally fine, nothing wrong with that. But if you want to be paid for it, which is someone else's money, you can't always say that I'll be only doing my thing and I'll never fudge, I'll never be adaptable, I'll always do the thing that I like and I want people to pay for it. You always need to create a product or a service that people actually want. You can't expect someone to take your product or your service that they don't want, but 
you want their money. That's sort of like stealing. That's theft, actually. You got to make a product or a service that these guys actually demand. And you need to go and ask them, how do you find that? How do you find that is by actually going and talking to people. Hey, what do you want? Hmm, are you sure you want this or that? Then you need to try to guess what exactly do they want and what they think they want. You need to find that difference. Henry Ford said that if, if I had given, you know, what people have wanted, I would have given them faster horses. When people were asking for faster horses, what they wanted was they wanted to actually get to a place faster. And instead of giving the horse, Henry Ford gave them a car that's actually faster than a horse. That's how it worked for him. So you need to go and ask people, communicate constantly do this thing you can also put out test products test services start something small I put out a poster once a couple of years back five posters and it didn't sell well even though there were it was good art people wanted something more then I started you know asking people what do you guys really want from me they said you know what I'd like to draw like you great I'll make something that helps you draw like me right that's what a drawing can came in right right you got to ask people and give people what they want six market yourself the product or the service that you're creating it's not just enough to make a good product or service you need to market it this is a hard lesson which I learned. Give your 100% making the best product possible and give another 100% to marketing that product because marketing is just as important as making. Doesn't matter if you just make a good product, which will help word of mouth will itself be a good marketing strategy, which is very good. But you need to actually go and market and tell people that your product exists and it solves a problem. And the next point is sort of also similar to that. Know if that is a demand for what you're offering first before making it. Don't waste time on a product or a service trying to make that thing trying to spend so much time without even knowing if people actually want it i spent so much time right i told you right i made a couple of set of posters a couple of years back i spent so much time trying to find a printer for it trying to get a get it all printed trying to you know find stickers for it trying to you know package it trying to find suppliers for packaging all that work and i didn't even realize if people wanted it i didn't even ask if people wanted it from then on i started asking people and also here's another thing if you ask people sometimes out of being nice right they'll say yes hey you know what yeah sure i'll get that then you need to ask again put them in the spot and say you know what i'm going to be really honest with you i want you to be super honest with me if i put this thing if i make this thing and i put it on that would you actually take out your wallet and pay for it and buy it that's how you know demand. And with the social media thing, everyone's being nice to each other. I mean, that's, that's actually the opposite. But, you know, at least on the, the people who are following you, they're nice to you and say, you know what, I'll support you. Don't, don't get fooled by pity demand. You know, I'm going to support that artist and therefore I'm going to buy it. That is pity demand. That is pity sales. You don't want people's pity on you, right? People want to get something from you because they actually want to get that thing from you. So it's good to have the intention of actually supporting others artists I do that sometime too but that won't last they'll be like they'll buy one thing from you and the next thing would be like a big flop because the first time they got it it was because of pity demand and they can't keep on doing that thing unless you actually go go to them and serve them and give them something of value and here's a marketing strategy which is CAD that is the best marketing strategy which you can ever use. I got this from Gary Vaynerchuk, so giving credit where it's due. Caring for your customers, caring for the people who you're trying to serve is the best marketing strategy you can ever have. Now, don't do fake caring. Oh, I care about my customers. Oh, I care about my audience. People sense that stuff. Don't do that. Instead, you actually care. There are things that you care about, right? For me, if I look at it, hmm, I don't want to just spend my life on earth and just, you know, do my thing. And, and just be gone I want to do something useful maybe help someone out and teach them the thing that I already know that is a thing that I find something that's worthy of my time here on this planet and like you know what I want to stay here and I'm gonna give someone else something that I've learned that is scary sort of to an extent and I'm like thinking the person who I've taught something they'll be there slightly 50 or 60 years more than me and then the person that they're going to share or teach is going to be there 50 or 60 years or more than me. Even though I haven't, uh, you know, my name doesn't live on 100 or 200 years from now or my work doesn't live on 100 or 200 years from now. I, I may have had some tangible effect by doing something or by teaching someone that someone which Oh God. teaching someone something that I know that was a hard sentence to say and when you care and make a product that is actually useful people will talk about it that itself is marketing I don't need to do marketing point number nine when it comes to money making roles is this
be patient. Things take time. If you're an artist, you're starting out and you're trying to make money, it's gonna take time. It took me around about five to six years to start even making money. And thank goodness I started early while I was in school. So two to three years went in school and three years went in college. So I was basically living with my parents and after that I couldn't make money right from the get go. Then I got a job and worked on the side on my thing. It's going to take time, whether you like it or not. Best thing I've learned in life is this. You can either learn to be patient or life will force you to be patient. At the end of the day, you gotta be patient regardless whether you choose to or not. So be patient with the whole money-making thing as an artist, it's gonna take time. You're gonna to need to learn a lot of things, but it's a learning process and you know what's the right thing to do after that and you can keep on repeating that thing or evolve based on that. And point number 10, this is probably the most important point of all. Refer to point number one in case you're lost. If you've forgotten every little thing which I just said, just go back to point number one. Make a product or a service that is useful useful that's what you need to be you gotta be useful these are all principles that i follow these are not like sort of rules these are like principles principles guide my decisions based on this you can try to find a business model with your art and try to find a, a product or a service in that that you can actually offer to other people that is useful so that is it for this little video i'll see you in the next one go make some money and art